from what a prophets be Wisdom crying in the street What a word is like a fire Prophecies and similes For when men turn gods My nation have been above y'all When wicked always flee After we put them laws on I like shine when we knock off sin We the gold in the fire But we knock off tin Rappers spitting truth in public Say we anti-shim But we not anti-shim We just anti-them Huh? We not from here and we ain't African We the victims of thousands of years of human trafficking Want me to celebrate pagan days of Satan's habitat Trade in my history and take yours, I ain't having it I'm trying to get my heritage back I'm from where them armies cross Jordan to get their land back I'm from where them women wore dresses and not pants jack When men got beers, only women go get their face waxed Jerusalem Where white folks that stole our race Calling themselves us and then they call us slaves But you know that we not on high above everybody. Let's see what happens if we don't listen. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to what God says. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do his commandments, meaning follow his rules. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Brandon, that's your kids? That's my grandson. That's your grandson? Who out here got kids? All right. Now, if any of y'all give your kids, let's say you sold your kids. All right, I'm about to leave my house. When I come back, I want the dishes washed, I want the trash taken out, and I want the grass cut. If they do what you ask them to do, what do they get? They get a reward. Right, they get a reward. But if you come home and there's dishes in the sink, the trash ain't been pulled, and the grass look like a jungle. What what do you do to them then? They get chastised. They get chastised. They get their behind whooped. Right, yeah. That's the same thing with God, our Father. Right. Our right. Father said, "Do what I ask you to do. If you do, I'm gonna give you a blessing. You're gonna be above everybody. They gonna come to you. But if you don't do what I ask you to do, God is not gonna physically come down with a leather belt and beat all of our behinds. That's know what he gonna do? He gonna have white men do it. Bring it out. Bring it he gonna have the police it do it. He gonna have the Asians do it. Right. He gonna have the Africans do it. He gonna have the Arabs to do it. He gonna have them Chinese people that be beating our sisters up at the nail shop to do it. Bring That's it right. right. That's what's gonna happen if we don't listen. That's how we know that we're the nation of Israel. Read right. verse 16. Bring it out. Verse 16. Curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. If I say the word ghetto, I'm about to go to see the people in the ghetto. You think about white folks? You think about Chinese folks? You think about Arabs? Who you think about? Us. Uh, us. Blacks and Hispanics. That's who you think about. When you see us in the hood, they got Mexicans that live down the street, right next door to some black folk, and down the street is the same thing. Because when you think about cursed in the city, that's who we are. We the ones that's cursed in the city. In Chicago, they drop guns uh, crates of guns in the hood. And it said, Curse shalt thou be in the city. What? Hey, curse shalt thou be in the field. Who was in the cotton fields? Who was in the cotton fields? Who was right here in the cotton fields picking cotton? Black. Who was on the sugar cane plantations? Black. Who was in the tar pits? Bring it out. Us, our people. Wasn't a white man up in the cotton field picking cotton, pricking his finger? Not a warrant. Read. Curse shall thou be thy basket and thy store. He said, Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. You can put that down. Basket and store goes into business and economics. How many of y'all know who Wendell Pierce is? Y'all ever watch The Wire? You, uh, I'm, no, not. you remember Buck from The Wire? Yeah, the, the heavy set like the cop. He from New Orleans. He went to St. Paul. Yeah, he from Tremay. Yeah, he was on Tremay too. Yep. The dude that was blowing the trumpet. You know he opened up a few years ago, maybe in 2013, 2014, he opened up a grocery store on the West Bank in New Orleans? I didn't know that. He opened up a grocery store. Dude got millions of dollars in my line. Right. Why would he open the grocery store? He opened the grocery store to supply his people. Right. Right. But guess what? He shut it down? 14 months later, it failed. Right. Yeah. 14 months. You want to know why? Because black yeah. people don't support black people. Right. But that's a curse. It said, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. 
That's why every time we try to start a business, it's all kind of red tape. Right. Right. But whenever a Chinese person wants to start a business, they get grants. They get tax-free. They don't, tax -free. Get tax -free. They don't pay right. taxes. They get tax-free for ten years. They don't pay no taxes. But with us, you got two years. And if you don't turn a profit, you better shut your business down or the IRS coming after you. Right. Curse shall be our basket and our store. Give me verse uh, 28. Bring it up. Verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Uh huh. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind groping in darkness. He said blindness and madness and astonishment of heart. When sometimes... When you get older, I'm pretty sure you're you're a man that has seen a lot in your experience on this earth. 55. 55 years. So you still remember the effects of Jim Crow. You oh, still remember how racist it was back in the oh, day in, in New Orleans and in Violet and yeah. St. Bernard Come Parish. Here. Come here. I know you do. I don't know, yeah. Yeah. They say what? Read it again. And thou shalt grow at noonday as the blind groper in dark. We still be trying to find our way. All of the years Teach. that you've been on this earth. Malcolm X, he tried to find our way through Islam, right? Mm -hmm. He tried to do it by any means necessary, right? What happened to him? Killed him. Killed him. Killed him. Martin Luther King, he tried the Christianity way. He wanted to do it non-violently. Right. And what did they do to him? Killed him. Killed him. No matter what we do, no matter how hard we try, guess what? They're going to murder us. Right! Every time the police kill a black man, what happens? They get off. Is that in the Bible? Yes, it no. is. Ooh, woo! <laughs> That's just in the spirit. Give me that. Zechariah 11 and 5. Bring it out. Now, how? Oh, my goodness. You've been studying. Hallelujah. You've been. We know that this Bible is talking about us. That's right. This Bible ain't ain't no white man or Chinese man or Africans in the, in the streets getting killed, shot down. Where's the Chinese Mike Brown? Where's the Arab of uh, uh, Mike Brown? Ain't nothing. Where is it? You can't find it. Read that. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Yeah. Whose possessors slay them? Our possessors. When we came over here, were we not a possession? We were property. We were the only people by law throughout history that were deemed property. It was a law called the Three-Fifths Compromise. Three-Fifths of a man, and guess what? They never changed it. Yes. So guess what? When we take these things to the Supreme Court, and they get off not guilty. You want to know why? Because they're judging you by the Constitution. Right. You, you didn't. You didn't kill a person. Right. You destroyed property. Right. Read on. And hold themselves not guilty. Read it again. Whose possessors slay them? So our possessors slay us. They kill us. And hold themselves not guilty. That's why the justice system will never work. You can't go to the same person that murdered you and say, "Hey, put yourself in jail for killing me." It's not gonna happen. But do you know how we get out of this situation? Zechariah 4 and 6. The book of Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might. Not by might. Guess what? Yes, we are physically stronger than all nations of the earth. Right. right. But guess what? The Lord ain't behind us right now because we're all in sin. Until we stop sinning and start following God's commandments, then the Lord will be behind us. That's right. He said, not by might, read, nor by power, nor by power. There is no gun that you can go get to shoot up all the white folks. Would you want to know why? Because your ass will run out of bullets. Right. And you will go to the same white man that you're trying to kill to ask for some more bullets so that you can kill him. Right. He's not going to do that. They got weapons they don't even need to fire. Bring it White folks sitting in Washington can shoot missiles over here and kill everybody. Right. Right. You're not going to get him. He's been blessed with the gift of war. Read. Right. But by my spirit. But by what? But by my spirit. By the word of God. Because guess what? If our women stop perming their hair, which, by the way, hair perms are the leading cause of fibroids in black women. Bring it out. Hallelujah. My mama had fibroids twice, and she always get a hair perm. It wasn't until she went natural that she stopped having those medical problems. Teach! Fibroids is the leading cause, or well, perms is the leading cause of fibroids among black women. Right. All right? So if we, for instance, women stop perming their hair, stop buying hair from other nations, guess what? 
the image of the black woman is now empowered. Now, they don't have to do movies where they bugged out crazy as hell in order to get an award. Right. You don't have to see movies like Precious just to see a black woman play a messed up role like that in order for her to get some sort of semblance of glory in this world. Right. You don't have to, if, if, if we stop having sex with everybody we see, guess what? The medical system comes crashing down because there's no more abortions. There's no more need for Planned Parenthood. There's no more need for STD treatment. Why? Because man is dealing with one woman. Women are dealing with one man. If we follow God's laws, this system comes crashing down. Right. Like the brother was bringing out earlier, today is the Sabbath day. If every single black and Hispanic and Native American person stops spending money on Saturdays, in one month this country will go down. Right. right. They had a song, I'm pretty sure, what's your name, my brother, 55? Clifford. Clifford. There was a song that I'm probably sure you heard growing up called Just Got Paid, yeah. Friday Night. Just Got Paid. Esau, the so-called white man, they made it like that. They made it to where we get paid on Friday night. You want to know why? Because that's the Sabbath. Friday night to Saturday night is the Sabbath. And you know what we do on Friday nights. They get drunk, they go party, they spend more money than they ever did on Monday. That's right. Because they just got paid that day. Right. That's the problem. If we stop doing that, this system will crash. How many of y'all celebrate Christmas? Good. Give me Jeremiah 10 and 1. Bring it out. We're going to show you. If Christmas is the so-called birthday of Jesus Christ, Jeremiah, is that in the Old Testament or New Testament, Brandon? What's that? The book of Jeremiah. Old Testament. Old Testament, right? So that must mean if I go here and can find Christmas, does that mean that it's Jesus' birthday? I could it be. Thank you. Read that. Mm. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord spake unto you, O house of Israel. O who? O house of Israel. He's talking to us. And only us. That's, That's right. why all throughout the Bible it says the God of Israel. Thus saith the God of Israel. Thus saith God to the Israelites. Thus saith this person to Israel. Thus saith this prophet to Israel. He's only talking to us. Right. We got the rule book. We the kings and princesses of the world. That's right. Everybody is beneath us. We are better than everybody. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Meaning the other nations. Stop putting yaki in your head. Stop putting Indonesian, Malayan, Malaysian, whatever the color is, whatever the name over there, stop putting that stuff in your head. That's right. Because their hair is not better than yours. That's right. That's why outside of this country, Every woman tries to be like y'all. The curls that this sister have in her head. I have seen white women go for days and weeks with straws in their hair just to try to get those type of, type of curls. And it comes natural for us. So why are we trying to be like them when they say they're trying to be like us? Right. It's because in back in the day, our image was destroyed. Teach. It was destroyed in slavery. Our men, we couldn't protect our women. The women, they had to stand up for themselves. That independent woman mindset is a lesbian white woman mindset. That's right. Ain't no woman gonna be without a man. Bring it up. Not one. That's why the gay ones they use toys. Bring they it up. What we have. They're not gonna go without a man. White people will tell them go without a man, and then back door, and they go back to their man and leave their man off to the side. That's why during Section Eight, can no black woman have a man living in the house? No. In Section Eight. No! Why? Because according to the Willie Lynch letter, the first thing that they attacked was the black family. That's hey, right. If you take away the black man from being the head of his household, guess what? Now the household is switched. Now the black man is in the, in the back scared, and the black woman is in the front trying to leave the house. When police knock on the door, you know what they do? They look for the oldest black woman in the house. Because she's the leader. We know this. We have brothers that are in the police department. Read that. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the other nations. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Be not dismayed at what? Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, none of that stuff is going to do anything for you. None of that stuff is going to do anything for you. Unless you follow God's law, statutes, and commandments, nothing is going to happen. The stars and all of that stuff ain't got nothing to do with you. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. 
for the customs of the people are vain. I'm gonna get to your question in a second, Kendall. He said the customs of the people are vain, meaning lies. Read. For what cut it a tree out of the forest? What cuts a tree out of the forest? First clue, read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They take an axe and they cut a tree down. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. They do what? They deck it with silver and with gold. On this tree that they just cut down, they put silver and gold decorations around it. That's what deck means. They deck it. They decorate it with silver and gold. Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. They fasten it down to the ground so it don't fall over. Read. That it move not. What is this talking about? A Christmas tree. It just described a damn Christmas tree in the Old Testament. In the Bible. Right. So how could that be Jesus' birthday? of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.